Demise is back. The zone I confirmed. Was that a dungeon? Are those legit boss fights? Hold on, hold on. Does Link have a flippin' rocket attached to his arm? The new champions are actually aiding Link in this new quest. What a time to be a Zelda fan. I mentioned in my last video that more than anything, I wanted my worries and fears as a fan of the Zelda series to be proven wrong by Nintendo for Tears of the Kingdom. And I also said that if I was proven wrong, that I would apologize. Well, Tears of the Kingdom, I was wrong. I oh. am sorry. Zelda fans, we have a ton to talk about, so let's dive right in. Woo. The trailer starts off with this beautiful shot of the Sky Islands with clouds quite literally smacking us in the face, the sun over the horizon, this massive Sky Island, which could be a dungeon, is then revealed so pretty, ooh. In this next shot, we see what looks like a blue choo-choo attacking one of the constructs that was revealed to us in the last gameplay update for Tears of the Kingdom. Why are they fighting each other? Are the constructs being controlled by the Zonai and being told to attack literally everything they see? This is interesting to me. We then see another construct using an ax to cut down a tree. I wonder what this little guy's reason is for doing this. Are the constructs good and bad? Are they responsible for rebuilding things as well as attacking everything in their path? This next shot literally gave me chills and made me tear up, man. We are blessed with an amazing shot of our hero Link skydiving from what looks like to be one of the Sky Islands down to the surface area below. The beautiful logo for Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is then shown with one of the best orchestrated soundtracks I've ever heard from the Legend of Zelda series, and that is saying something. Wow. I wonder if this part of the final trailer for Tears of the Kingdom is going to be the title screen that we're going to be basically starting up the game with. Very curious about that. The trailer then shifts over to Link paragliding down to the surface area below. In this shot here, it does sort of seem like Link is heading directly to the Zoro's domain area of Hyrule. Will this be the first area in Tears of the Kingdom that we explore? No idea. We then see Link running through Heitano Village with a couple of new upgrades that weren't in Breath of the Wild's version of this village. I really, really enjoyed this part of the trailer. It showed a lot of life, a lot of civilization, and just a lot of colors that just popped. It looked really beautiful to me. The trailer then shifts our focus over to what looks like Hyrule Castle's courtyard, which instantly when I seen this, I thought, does this mean that there are actually civilians in Tears of the Kingdom that are working to rebuild Hyrule Castle the way it used to be before Calamity Ganon destroyed everything? We may legit be able to help the civilians rebuild this beautiful kingdom back to what it used to be. It's so exciting. Link is then shown climbing up the side of a mountain, which looks to be in the area near the vicinity of Kakariko Village, but way higher up in the mountains. We get another peek at the spiraling stones that I've talked about in previous videos here on All Things Zelda as well, but still no clarity on what roles these objects will play in Tears of the Kingdom. Personally, I feel the spiraling stones are going to be another way for Link to be able to get to the Sky Islands with ease. In this exact same shot, there is an interesting looking circle rock that was placed in between the two mountains here, which definitely was not in Breath of the Wild. I wonder what the point of this is. Is it gonna be like some kind of thing where Link can fly through it and it just speeds his gliding process up? Sort of like how in Skyward Sword when you were riding your loft wing and you're able to go through those rocks in the sky which sped up the flying process. I think this is pretty cool. So the trailer then shifts to a very fast paced zooming in shot of what looks like the Farron Region Spring. I forgot the legit name, <laughs> but it's in the Farron Region in Breath of the Wild, which then ends with a glimpse at the massive tornado that is way up near the Sky Islands. We then see the Gerudo Desert with what looks like a potential dungeon rising from beneath the desert. Very, very exciting. We are then greeted with, yet again, Hyrule Castle rising from the depths of whatever is under Hyrule Castle. But what I think is pretty cool about the shot here is the fact that the NPCs are actually witnessing this and are in complete shock of what is happening. There's just so much emotion here. The next scene completely made me fanboy out Zelda crew. He's back, he's back, Demise is back. 
My oh my, this is exciting. I mean, who else could this have been? The trailer then shifts to where Zelda is falling into the abyss as Link is trying to save her. I don't know if I remember this 100% correctly or not, but was his hand always that red and sort of dead looking? I could have sworn that in the other trailers for Tears of the Kingdom, this hand was green. Definitely let me know in the comments. Link is then shown sprinting to what looks like another dungeon that seems to be underground and fire themed. Freaking epic, man. Maybe this is the dungeon or temple that is in Death Mountain or under it? Super cool. The trailer then shifts to the Sky Islands. More specifically, we see Link literally up front and personal with the massive tornado that we've seen from a distance earlier in the trailer. Tell me, doesn't this look like the makings of a gigantic sky dungeon? There are also what look like Zonai themed ships flying around and in the tornado as well. Does this mean we're going to have to hitch a ride on one of these in order to gain access to the temple? Oh boy. We then see Link jumping into what looks like a bubble with something on the inside of it. Whatever this object is in the middle of the bubble allows Link to get inside of it. But I am definitely curious as to what this is. Is this another one of Link's new abilities? Because it doesn't look like any of the other abilities that we've seen so far. The next shot here shows Link diving at lightning speed down a tunnel with lasers shooting across it in every which way. Which, by the way, Link, kudos to dodging literally all of them. <laughs> is Link wearing armor here? that allows him to glide without the paraglider? Whoa. Link is then seen pushing a lever inside of what looks like a part of a dungeon or maybe a sky island. And as Link pushes the lever, it rotates the cave-like structure he is in. I wonder what the point of this is gonna be. Is it a glimpse at some of the new puzzles we're gonna be getting in Tears of the Kingdom? What else really surprised me is that 84% of you still are not subscribed to this channel. If you are a Zelda fan, and you're super hyped for the release of Tears of the Kingdom, make sure to subscribe to All Things Zelda because I'm going to be covering any and all things Tears of the Kingdom as well as making guides for you for the game when it comes out. This also just lets me know you enjoy the Zelda content I create, so thank you. Next up, Link is shown paragliding through what looks like another potential dungeon. It's so narrow in here. Good luck, Link. Our hero is then shown showing off his horseback skills as he is twirling around what looks like to be a Zonai spear right through the heat of battle. Are the soldiers here actually assisting Link in the fight this time? Holy crap. This next shot is really creepy, actually. Like, who the heck is this? Could this be one of Demise's Ganondorf's new minions? This shot right here gives me the vibes of a potential new boss, of a potential new dungeon that still hasn't been confirmed, but all signs from this trailer this final Tears of the Kingdom trailer are pointing to this being an actual reality. My question is this, are the Zonai literally good and evil? Maybe this is like a test of strength here, much like in Wind Waker, when the Hero of the Winds had to tackle the Tower of the Gods and then fight that boss in order to prove his worth as the hero. This would be so cool, man. At around a minute and 54 seconds in the trailer, Zelda is shown talking to a brand new character that we have never seen before. The only thing we can assume here is that he is involved in some way with the Zonai, maybe even controlling the constructs to do certain things. The other thing that is shown is that this mysterious character has the exact same arm as Link does in Tears of the Kingdom. What could this mean? Is this NPC an ally or a foe being controlled by Ganondorf demise? So exciting. Link is then shown battling a couple constructs in this next frame here, and it looks like he has fused a royal shield with a royal claymore. Interesting choice. <laughs> I wonder what the attack stat on this bad boy is. Link is then shown dodging a brand new enemy that is lightning fast and full of fire and flames. I think it's worth pointing out too that this does seem to be another brand new area that is underground or maybe even a dungeon underground. We then see Link literally inside of the tornado. This has to be a dungeon or a temple here. And it looks like Link is accompanied by what at first I thought was Teba, but after watching the trailer a lot, like I lost count, it does look like it's a different Rito that we really don't know yet. Link is then shown chauffeuring around some civilians with some parts of the wagon glowing green. With everything going on, Link, why are you chauffeuring people around? Zelda needs you, bro. 
Maybe this is some sort of side quest that we'll get to tackle. Or it just could be some fluff that Nintendo threw into the trailer. Who knows? Whatever it is, I think it'd be pretty cool to be a side quest. Around 2 minutes and 22 seconds in the final trailer for Tears of the Kingdom, we see Link using his rewind ability in action against an Octorok. This is so cool and I can't wait to master this ability and use it against my enemies. Oh, and by the way, in case you missed it, Link has a rocket ship attached to his left arm. No big deal. Just, just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> Such an epic moment. We then see Link slow motion jumping on the Sky Islands across little rocks all covered in that iconic green color. Is this yet another ability of Link's in Tears of the Kingdom? It looks like Link is on his way to the entrance of something here. Maybe the entrance to a temple? Link is then shown underground once again, battling another version of a construct. It looks like all the while on a speeding minecart. Super skilled and talented you are, Link. Amazing. Is this area here the same fiery area as before, or is it an entirely new cave or dungeon? The next shot made me laugh so hard when I watched this live. It looks like Link is controlling some type of transformer, for lack of a better word that he has built in order to fight the stone talus with an enemy encampment on it. Yet another fantastic new feature in Tears of the Kingdom. Did Link just fuse a ruby with an arrow to create a fire arrow here? That's pretty interesting. Loving the new armor for our noble steed, by the way, that, that looks super cool. All right, this next shot here shows Link shooting what looks like another Zonai construct object. And right when he hits the object with an arrow, it literally shoots off lasers and basically 360 degrees and completely obliterates everything on the enemy encampment. Again, are these constructs really bad or are they actually on Link's side? So this might be the coolest looking boss in all of Zelda. Like, let's just be honest. Is that a freaking ice dragon? <laughs> How cool is that? It does seem like we will be getting some assistance from one of the Rito here in this boss fight. At 2 minutes and 49 seconds in the trailer, Zelda is holding a tear-like object. She says that she knows what she has to do and it's something only she can do. But what exactly is she referring to? If you look really close here, it does look like the Master Sword is in the back of the frame here. Is Zelda trying to restore the Master Sword back to its full strength? Is this her task in Tears of the Kingdom? I'm dying to know what your theory is. Drop it in the comments, Zelda fans. We then see a massive flare of immense power coming from either Demise or Ganondorf here. He shoots his powerful energy out and into the overworld of Hyrule and starts spawning some of the strongest enemies we came across in Breath of the Wild. Bokoblins, Moblins, and three high tier Lynels. Oh boy, this is going to be super easy. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to play Master Mode on this. Anyway, we then see a familiar shot in which Link's arm is being consumed by the Malice as well as the Master Sword, but we get to see a little more context here. We are then shown the King of Evil himself, the man behind everything, Ganondorf. And my, 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 this might be one of the coolest versions of Ganondorf I have ever seen. It rivals Twilight Princess's version. You can literally feel his power, his energy, through this very brief glimpse of him. I'm really glad Nintendo decided to show him off a little bit here. It's just so satisfying. Link then seems to be getting attacked, chased by some ink shark enemy thingy <laughs> on one of the Sky Islands, which could be another mini boss Nintendo wanted to show off. At 3 minutes and 10 seconds, they show off another new character in Tears of the Kingdom. Whoever could this be? Maybe the princess of the Zonai tribe. If you look really close, Zelda fans, she does seem to have one of those glowing yellow tears around her neck here. She also looks like she is about to obliterate the crap out of something. Maybe this new character is trying to protect something she deeply cares for. We then see very brief frames of the new champions fighting right alongside Link. And this is probably one of the most exciting things that I've seen in this trailer. I was super excited to see the new champions fighting alongside Link to destroy evil once and for all. I am very curious on how they're going to implement this though. Link alongside the new champions then rushes off to face what looks like the mighty Gliok. We can only assume here that this is going to be just one epic boss fight at the end of a long winded dungeon. You can hope, right? 
The trailer then shows an emotional cry from Zelda to Link that says, Link, you must find me. Okay, let's just point out the obvious here. So Zelda and Link obviously get separated, right? But how? What exactly makes this happen? Man oh man, May 12th cannot come sooner. Leave your thoughts, opinions, theories in the comments below. I'm super excited to hear what you think about this final trailer. Zelda fans, much love, be the light. But remember, it's dangerous to go alone. So check out this Zelda video next and talk to you over there.